and Ivanka broke the Hatch Act blatantly, proudly, by speaking at the Republican National Convention, not just a political event, but a lie-filled propaganda event that was held at the taxpayer-funded White House, a violation of the separation of political activities and official federal work. There's more to the Ivanka criminality story, and we'll continue to go into that on further episodes. We must note that in the creepy relationship Ivanka has with her father, in 2016, her father wanted Ivanka to be his vice president, according to a new book. So as we keep telling you, Ivanka is her father wrapped up in a prettier package, which makes her far more dangerous. We're not just fighting our hearts out to defeat Trump in November. We're going to continue fighting our hearts out to defeat Ivanka Trump in 2024. We keep warning you it's going to happen. And if she continues to avoid accountability like she has thus far, it will happen. The the press is filled with Mark Burnett's who will happily rehabilitate a sparkly blonde who is the right kind of woman according to the prevailing white male patriarchy power structure that we're stuck under currently. So we remain vulnerable and Ivanka Trump is a major threat and continues to be a major threat to our democracy.